In this video, we're going to talk about PCA, uh, or known as principal component analysis. Principal component analysis is a mathematical technique for modeling or summarizing um, a data set that you may have. So let's say you have a set of points, x1, x2, all the way to xn, there are n such points. Each data point is a point in Rd, a real value vector of d dimensions, which d can be very large. So perhaps we can look uh, here. Each of these data points here would be some xk, right? And it's a vector. Uh, in this case here, we, we have used the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and the z coordinate. So in this case, our d is equal to 3, right? And for the time being, you know, let's, let's assume that these points have mean 0. So if I sum all of them, essentially take the average, well, to take the average, I would have to divide here by 1 over n. But nonetheless, if I assume uh, the average is 0, then these points here are overall, they're centered at the origin. Right. If they're not uh, from the beginning, we can always subtract the mean from each data point, in which case when we plot them, we'll have some plot like this, they're centered at the origin. The PCA, or the principal component analysis technique, tries to find a set of vectors, a set of orthonormal vectors, we'll call this phi1, phi2, all the way to phi m. And m here is typically less than d, right? Uh, less than or equal to d. Um, and we would like to find a set of vectors, phi1, phi2, phi3, etc., phi m, uh, such that they pass through this data in some optimal way, right? So that if I then want to use this uh, set of autonormal vectors or basis to represent the data points, I'll have something like an optimal representation, right? So given a set of basis vectors m of them how do i represent uh, a particular data point well you sum you compute the weighted sum of your basis vectors uh, uh, phi k from k equals one through m and you have these coefficients which you are allowed to multiply each of these vectors by and you select these coefficients very carefully so that uh, your representation model, which we call V, it's a vector, so there should be a bar here on top, uh, best approximates some data point. Right? So if we take the set of phi vectors, uh, which again should have a bar on top of each of these here, and we stack them, right, column by column, into a matrix, which we'll call this matrix B, and we stack these coefficients here into a coefficient vector, which containing C1, C2, all the way to Cm. Again, there are m of them. We can then rewrite this model here, this linear model, in a matrix vector format. So the outline of this PCA procedure would be essentially to fit, to find the, the vectors phi k, such that when I compute the approximation uh, of, of this model to each of these data points of the training set that I'm given, the models, uh, on average, the model that I chose that, uh, uh, that is composed of this linear combinations of phi k allows me to estimate uh, a representation for each data point in an optimal way, in the least squares way. And so we'll also cover what we call the least squares approximation, right? And the summary of that particular part of the lecture will be that if we set up a least squares problem that looks like this, the solution is given by uh, what we call here these normal equations. The solution of coefficient c will be b transpose b and this matrix to the minus 1, or the inverse of this matrix, times b transpose xk, right? So this is the least squares approximation of our model to a particular data point. And then the PCA uh, procedure tries to find, you know, measures the average error, right, 1 over n being 
the number of data points, you sum for all the data points, um, um, the error between the least squares approximation uh, to each of these points. And again, this is an optimization over, is we're going to conduct this optimization over B, which means the set of all uh, vectors that we're choosing up to M of them. All right, so this is the overall procedure and we'll go walk through the steps uh, one by one.